The new Brawler in Brawl Stars M's 1v1 versus every brawler in the game. How well will she do? Let me just say this. Range is everything. You'll see what I mean. Hey everyone, what's happening? Lex back today for another Brawl Stars video, and today we are going to be pitting M's 1v1 versus every single brawler in the game. After that, we're going to go over the balance changes that are coming into the game, as well as we may hear some M's voice lines, which actually they're ridiculously good. I've got to find that voice actor because she's really good. Did I mention that there's more sneak peeks coming? Oh yeah, this isn't it. You think this is all the sneak? No, no, there's more. Be sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications, and you know, I'll see you in the next sneak peek as well. Here's the deal with the 1v1s. I am going to run them all back to back. I did change one thing. They're not moving from the worst against M's to the best. They are staggered in groups of their rarities. So you'll see them in their groups, not in order of how well they do against M's. Now there's a few brawlers that I show twice because M's has a very particular attack. If you're not in the sweet spot of her attack where it lingers for a few seconds, she does like almost no damage. She's horrible. Unless you get into that sweet spot, then she's really, really good. So I showed some brawlers that were the really close up brawlers. I showed them backed off in the sweet spot as well as close where they would do well. So you'll get to see both of them. But we'll talk about that again after all this is played. Remember, the damage that shows that's calculated is calculated at the second, at the frame that one of the brawlers dies. All right, let's roll the Trophy Road Brawlers. Again. Yeah. <laughs> 
barely breathe again. All right, so there you go. Ems actually did pretty darn well. There was a couple matches in there that were really close. There were some where she completely dominated. And even the big tanks where she got beat pretty bad if they were right up next to her, if they backed off into the area where it was really good for Ems, not good for them, then she totally turned the tables on them. So Ems is very... I thought that it was going to be different. I thought Ems was going to be like really, really super strong and OP, but... Her entire attacks depend upon her range. And this is where the skill cap is going to come in with this brawler. You would think that she looks like a brainless just spam auto aim brawler. It's not really that way. You want to judge the range where you don't want to keep them at your max range, but maybe like one tile closer than your max range. So if her tile is six and two thirds, keep her at, at like six tiles out. If you keep them right in there, then you're going to get multiple hits from your shot. If you get them really close or too far away, you're not going to get full potential out of your shot. So it's the skill is going to come in trying to keep your enemy at that special spot where you're going to get maximum damage. The super is slows and it actually will help aid you in keeping them at that distance because it slows them. It doesn't last very long, but it is very useful in that regard. But overall, I think Ems is going to be a very good brawler. Not like ridiculously OP, like Rosa, Leon, Sandy. Not like that when they were first released, but uh, very, very strong. So we'll see how that all shakes out. Should be a lot of fun getting to play her. Um, now let's listen to her voice lines. <gasps> Try my new perfume. Gotta get rid of that smell. Try some zombie by me. Oh, I can finally breathe again. Time for a detox. Oh my God. God! You're like totally not getting a friendship bracelet. Are you serious? I won't like your next post. And I oop. Take a chill pill. I will destroy you. Oh. Hashtag stop the hate. I'm like feeling so attacked right now. You are so bad. Oh my God. Hashtag no filter. You totally deserve that. Hashtag boring. Eat my scrunchie. Hashtag loser. Hashtag oh my God, I'm totally winning. They say she's too wrapped up in herself. Ugh. Hashtag haters. Hashtag I'm so gonna win everything. I'm so overpowered. About this. I'm only here for the trophies. Ugh, did someone here unfollow me? <laughs> <laughs> now we have a bunch of balance changes. Let's go over those real quick. I'm not gonna opine too much on them. You guys let me know what you think about these balance changes in the comments down below. Most of them I really agree with. There's a couple that I don't agree with. Like for instance, Tick's rebuff. I, I don't agree with that one. But anyways, you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below about these balance changes, about M's and all everything in between. 8-bit. Decreased main attack damage from 340 to 320 per laser. So he gets a slight nerf. BB decreased health from 4300 to 4200 and decreased spitball damage from 1000 to 900. So BB gets a double nerf. Bo, his super attack traps are now deployed in a fixed pattern. That's just a change, not a buff nor a nerf. It's just a nice quality of life change. Brock gets a buff as they have increased incendiary star power from 500 to 600 damage. Crow's extra toxic star power gets another buff from 16% all the way up to 20% damage reduction. Daryl gets a buff and a complete rework to his star powers. First off, Steel Hoop's shield damage reduction went from 25 up to 30%. And then rolling reload, Daryl doubles his reload speed for 5 seconds after using his super. Haven't used it yet, I haven't really tried it out, but... Gonna have to because I'm not sure what to think of it quite yet, but rolling reload was not good and maybe this will help it. Once again, the devs are trying to balance out El Primo's star powers. El Fuego gets another damage buff from 1000 up to 1200 and they have decreased Meteor Rush's speed boost again from 28 down to 25. They're really trying to get the usage of these two star powers evened out and it looks like everybody prefers Meteor Rush, but... 1200 extra damage from that's that's really good guys jeans magic puff star power another buff from 300 heals up to 400 per second still people will use spirit slap magic puffs is not good enough 
That's not going to cut it, Brawl Stars. You're going to have to make Magic Puffs a lot better than that to, for people to use it. Now, Leon, just like El Primo, they're still trying to balance out those star powers. People still have been favoring Smoke Trails over Invisiheal. So, they have increased Invisiheal's healing from 800 to 1,000 per second. It's re actually, Invisiheal was really, really good, and now it's even better. They also have decreased the Smoke Bomb invisibility duration from 7 to 6. So, he gets a slight nerf in, in terms of how long his invisibility lasts, but Invisiheal gets a big buff. Nita, they have increased her health from 3,800 to 4,000, as well as increased her main attack damage from 740 to 800. Two buffs for Nita, and they were definitely needed. They were definitely needed. Okay, that's bad. Penny gets a buff. They're going to increase her main attack damage from 840 to 900. Yeah, Penny and Jesse, they're all right there now. Piper gets nerfed, and I think this has to do with Ambush. They have decreased her main attack damage at max range from 640 to, or from 1640 to 1600. I think this is so that she can't one-shot tick with Ambush at max range, but she gets a very slight nerf to her max damage at max range. Apparently, people still love Screeching Solo, and Poco's Decapo star power gets another buff from 600 up to 800. This is actually ridiculous now because that star power is so freaking good. 800 per ammo. Oh, that is an amazing star power and you probably should be using this one now. The devs have realized Sandy, yeah, he's still OP. They give him a triple nerf. They've decreased his health from 4,000 to 3,800. They have decreased the sandstorm duration from 12 seconds down to 9 seconds. And they have decreased the healing winds healing from 300 to 250 per second. Triple nerf for Sandy. Is that going to be enough? I think it should be getting pretty close now. So everybody seems to love Curveball for Spike. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's like the most nubious star power that you can get an extra band-aid an extra life because you just chuck those shots out there and they're pretty much going to hit at least one of the spikes it makes it brainless to play spike and it very you know lowers the skill cap by a ton however they have increased the healing from fertilize from 600 to 800 per second is that going to be enough i don't know that's it's a really good star power now I think it's going to make it a pretty close option for people to which one they're going to choose. We'll see. And the last buff and nerf is Tick. They have increased the main attack mini mines duration on the ground from 1.6 back up to 2 seconds. They just nerfed that from 2 seconds down to 1.6. And I guess they decided, nah man, Tick needed that. Tick was already OP. Why did, why Brawl Star? It's whatever, man. I totally disagree with this, but they have decreased his automatic reload time on his star power from 13 down to 10, so that's going to help with his spamming of the shots a little bit, but I think Tick's going to be going back to super annoying status. He was still crazy strong and really annoying with 1.6. I, I, I digress. I digress. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. What do you guys think of M's? What do you think of all the balance changes? Let me know in the comments down below. And remember, there's more sneak peeks to be had. Be sure to subscribe. Stay tuned to this channel. And I'll bring you all that fun stuff very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out.